So hi everyone and welcome to this video on the differential. So the concept of the differential, it's quite useful in economics in that we deal a lot with changes with, uh, with one variable re with respect to another. So for example, say we have a concept like cost, what would happen if uh, output were to increase? So of course I would increase the cost of a firm, but by how much? So suppose the firm considers increasing output by say five units, how much would that change the cost? So in dealing with these marginal things, the concept of a differential becomes incredibly useful for our analysis. So let's define the differential formally now. So if we have a function y, which is some function of x, okay, and that the function is a differentiable function, then we can define the differential dy by this equation. dy is equal to the derivative of y with respect to x, okay, with respect to x, and uh, times dx. So if you are wondering how did we get this, so note, if we get the derivative, okay, that, that derivative, okay, y with respect to x, that's just dy over dx. And if we isolate out dy, we're going to be left with uh, that derivative times dx. And essentially, that's that equation there. So that's how we derived it. And again, that derivative is the derivative of y with respect to x. Then dx okay, is the change in x. Okay. Now, the process of obtaining the differential of y is called total differentiation. And that's what we're going to be doing. And essentially, okay, the differential okay, measures the estimated change in y. Note, estimated, estimated change in y, given a change in x, okay, which is something incredibly important in economics. And that's uh, delta y, which is approximately equal to dy, or your differential. So let's have an example of explaining how the differential goes. So consider a cost function. Okay, say a firm had this cost function, 8,000 plus 200Q minus 0.2Q squared. And we want to know what's the marginal cost of the 251st unit. So to get that actual marginal cost, in this example, since it's quite easy, we can get the actual marginal cost. So from 250 to 251 units, okay, essentially all we have to do is we have to plug in 250 and then 251 and the difference between the two is essentially the differential uh, is essentially I'm sorry not the differential but rather the uh, the marginal cost of the additional unit of the 251st unit so um, the marginal cost again of that 251st unit is just the difference between the total cost incurred in producing 251 units and 250 units. So how do we get that? It's just like this. So we have uh, C250, that's equal to 8,000, plus 200 times 250, minus 0 0.2, okay, 250 squared. If you solve for that, that will be equal to 45,500, okay? Then we need to get 251, so that's 8,000, plus 200 times 251, uh, whoops, minus, minus 0 0.2, 251 squared. That's going to be equal to 45,599.8. And again, the marginal cost of that 251st unit is just equal to uh, the difference between the total cost functions, okay, 250. So this is 45,599.8 less 45,500 and we get the marginal cost being 99.80. So that's our marginal cost of the 251st unit. Now, the differential can also aid us in solving this. And remember, the form of the differential is dy is equal to f prime x dx. Okay, so... To build a differential in our cost function, that's essentially d c q, okay, or the differential of our cost function is equal to c prime q, or the first order derivative of cost with respect to output, 
DQ or the change in output. Okay, so to get this one, we need this one and this one since we're looking for this differential. So C prime Q, that's essentially the derivative of your cost function with respect to Q. And you can get that. So the derivative of your cost function, that's just 200 minus 0 0.4 Q. Okay. And then DQ, okay, DQ is the movement, uh, is how much you're looking for. So that's the change in the output in this case, the change in Q. And the change in Q is from 250 units to 251 units. Okay, we have a DQ equal to 1. Okay, so from 250 to 251, that's one additional unit. DQ is equal to 1. Okay, uh, then we can plug that in. Okay, we can plug that in to get it. So we're going to be left with the DCQ is equal to 200 okay, minus 0 0.4 times Q. That's going to be 250. Okay, 250 times 1. Okay, times 1. Okay, and that gives us, okay, 200, okay, uh, 200 minus 0 0.4, so 200 minus 0 0.4 times 250, and that's going to be equal to uh, uh, um, 0 0.4, okay, let me just check on this, so that's, sorry, this is minus, right, minus, this will be minus 100, okay, uh, point four. That's a hundred. That's gonna be equal to one hundred. Okay. So that is the differential. Okay. The differential will estimate that the marginal cost of producing that two hundred fifty first unit is about a hundred units of currency. Say a hundred dollars. And note that the difference between there is some difference between them. Okay. The the true Marginal cost is 99.8, and the estimated one is 100. There is some difference, but how do we explain that sort of difference? So it all boils down to a property of a differential, and it goes something like this. Okay, if y is some function of x, okay, where, again, the function is the differentiable function, and the change in x is very small, then the differential of y is close to the actual change in y. That is, if I take the limit as dx approaches 0, that is the change in x is small of the change in y, then this will approximately be equal to the differential. So consider this graph here. Say your initial point was at x, and say you want to see the change of increasing x by an amount dx. So your function, uh, you will move from here, to here okay so this one is y this one is x so the distance between x and x plus dx is of course dx so that's this distance there then uh, if we draw the tangent line uh, akin to our curve okay that distance here so this distance okay this distance here is the actual change okay it's the actual change in y and this one is the differential when we, we put it against the tangent line. And that difference, so notice that difference there is quite big. But say, um, say we lessened, okay, we lessened dx. So as dx approaches a small, say dx were somewhere here, okay, that difference there, so this gap here, so this gap there, would be incredibly small. So it would be approximately equal to the differential. So all in all, as the differential dx becomes smaller and smaller, the differential dy gets closer and closer to the actual change, which is delta y. So that's the differential in the context of uh, economics.